Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to be looking at waxing my face and it's not so much for hair removal, it's for exfoliation. I haven't seen anyone else do it, but I know there's like a charcoal um, face mask that you can use, which does something similar. It removes all the impurities, especially from the pores and um, at the same time you get a good exfoliation. So, I'm just going to clip my hair back. There we go. Then, just put, I'm gonna put gloves on, but I always feel better if I sanitize my hands. And the type of wax I'm going to use is the sugar wax that I made. Um, the synthetic waxes are too harsh and you'll rip, but no, it's, it's just too harsh for, um, for the face. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Normally it's really good. So um, here's my wax and I need to get rid of anything that's on my face. Right. Remember, I'm going to put the wax on and make sure I get rid of all of that. And I'm just going to have to wait a bit to um, let it dry. And then I can start. Because you want all that oil, any of that gunk removed. So here's my wax and it's been sitting in the pot for a bit. Um, yeah, I don't, don't like it too hot and I, it needs to be the consistency of honey. It's starting to dry up now. So I'm not sure how neat this is gonna be. This can be quite messy. So here we go. Hope you can see everything. to go too close to the hairline. Oops. And the best thing about this one, it doesn't matter how much mess I make, once it hits water, it gets totally dissolved. So I'm just gonna leave that there. What I'll do is I'll do this side, this side, this side, and then my nose. And I think the hairs grow a bit down, kind of like. And then I just grab this piece here. There we go. I did miss out on to my nose. I just do that with my nose. It's a little bit too hot. But I think it'll be okay. The 
gives you really good exfoliation. Your skin comes out clean. So once you're done, a nice moisturizer. <laughs> that looks really funny. Okay, this is really good for blackheads, so. You don't want to catch um, any of the hairs. So this here is purely for exfoliation. It's, it does grab all the hairs out really well, but the exfoliation that you get from this, so it'll help you with, you know, when you apply your makeup, it's a lot smoother. It um, helps with collagen, um, even skin tone, makes your skin nice and smooth, um, helps with penetrating products like vitamin C, and um, yeah, I like doing this. So it, it tends to dry up quite quickly. About ready. Oh. I think I've just got my forehead left, <laughs> nice and red. get too close to my eyebrows I don't want it to drip down there because um, this stuff will rip them out <clears throat> so we don't want don't want to walk around with half an eyebrow now do we that's not a good look <clears throat> yeah, so with this sugar wax you really need to be careful because um, if you heat it too much um, it can seriously burn your skin, so never on direct heat. Um, you know, you can have it in a pot. That's fine. Oh, I did threads in my face, on my temple, so that hurts a bit. Out a few eyebrow hairs, but you know, as long as the whole thing didn't come out. <laughs> Shoot. Mm. A bit of my hair there. <sighs> right, it's the last bit. Okay, nice and red. I've given myself a really good exfoliation. Don't really, there's a bit of mess here, but you know, it is sugar wax and um, it will um, dissolve in water, not a big deal. Um, so if you found this interesting, I've got far more things that I can show you, but this is something simple that you can do if you, um, if you want to exfoliate your skin, it's just another um, technique that I use. Um, and I've got many other things I could show you. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, like and subscribe to my channel because um, I'd love to have you here. Thank you. Bye.